What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at two new pieces of content on our racing, which were introduced with a brand new season 4 build. One of them being this lovely track, none other than the Hungara Ring, which has been an F1 track for many many years now and I'm personally very excited about it being on iRacing now as well. And then we also have a new Ferrari GT3 car, which is the evil version of the 488 which has been on iRacing for, I think, a pretty long time. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please let me know by hitting the like button and also sub to the channel if you're new here. And also let me know what you personally think about the new iRacing update in the comment section down below. And now, let's jump into a little unofficial GT3 fixed race here during week 13 to see how this combo drives. Okay, very slow start here. Very interesting. Go, go, go. Okay, team up. 15 minutes left. That's uh, 15 minutes. Maybe it would have been better to take the inside here. On your right. Careful, still there. Three wide in the middle. Hold your line in the middle. They're on your right. Oh, don't think of me. They're all around. Good start. Left side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. Car on your right. Easy. Hold your line. Clear right. Ooh -hoo -hoo. In dead start here, that's for sure. A lot of people wrecking. Action packed. And we're in P5. By the looks of it. They try to start from the back, but yeah, no one really qualies, and I was the one car, so... Wasn't really starting from the back, even though I didn't set a time in quality. Starting from the pits, I would have been too far back, I guess. Ooh, that yellow Ferrari was freaking quick there in that corner. Now let's stop brabbling maybe for a few corners and actually put some pressure on these guys. Gotta work a bit on my graphics settings, especially on this track. I have a few minor issues with performance actually, from what I've seen so far. Oh my god! All clear on the right. Car on your right. <laughs> Careful, still there. Holy moly. Hold your line. Clear on your right. All right, clear on your right. Oh, that might be a slowdown, huh? Lucky, I guess. I nearly lost the car there myself when I saw that Audi spun out in front. And that was my luck, honestly. I feel like. Leader is escaping a bit. Don't like to see that. How many laps is this race? Okay, 10 laps. We've got a bit of time to overtake some of these people here. 
Oh, boys, watch out. Looks like we're racing to keep the mats up in here. Kappa? You're clear left. Oh my god. Car on your left. Oh my god, the Audi just pulled through. If I didn't pull back, I probably would have spun him there. I would like to see the Audi be at least a bit more competitive again than it was in the last season. In the GT3 races, in the regular ones. As that's like my main car now that's driving for a team for EFP racing. Careful, car on your right. All clear on the right. Ah, I seem to be super slow in these slow corners. And track change in general, at least on this setup, might not be the Ferrari's uh, big strength, actually, from what I can tell so far. But I always found it difficult to make proper conclusions about a car just from driving the baseline setups. Things can look a lot different on, on a proper setup, you know. Oh, he closed the door this time. Not like with the other guy. Definitely had a huge run, though. I definitely would have sent it. Having to back out there definitely cost me a bit of time, too. Okay, Timo. Stay close. Wait for it's a good move from him. But also gotta say, he can't do that with everyone on iRacing, probably. Some people just wouldn't care, which is... Oh, sorry! I would just punt him off, which I almost did there as well. That was completely unintentional, though. Just didn't break hard enough initially, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. Surprisingly, I do not care about off tracks in an unofficial race, Jimbo. Very different lines here from the two of us. It's just not a corner to overtake. Another one that has binned it. Ah, very easy to get an off track in this chicane. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but it's just very easy to get one, especially if you're following a car, you know, and don't like, exactly see where the curb is. Easy car on your left. Well, it's a bit of a half-hearted scent.
Yeah, maybe we can get a good run here in the slipstream and attack him into turn one. It is for P3, so I would like to get this position. Left side. Oh! Still there. He had a horrible exit there, holy shit. Still there. You're clear left. Awesome. Well done. Careful car on your left. All clear on the left. Sorry, 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 sorry. Off track, but I don't care. All right. Clear right. With the first step and signature move from the F1 race there this year. With this damaged car. Going around the outside. Off, who was it? I think Mick Schumacher. Ryoga took like this pretty aggressively. I think someone else too. And now let's fly away from this Audi. Who has put on a good fight. But I do think I have more pace in the car than him. Oh god. Didn't get the rotation I wanted from the car there. I find that you have to be like really, really um, precise with your inputs in this car with how much you trail brake and how much you get on the accelerator in order to get the right amount of rotation with it. Like if you do too little, you don't get enough. If you do too much, you get too much. Overall, I really like how the Ferrari feels, though, the new one. You know, like I said before, I haven't tried it on a proper setup yet, so... The statement is subject to change, but yeah, first impression's good. So if I have to spend a lot of time in it this upcoming season, because it's gonna be OP as hell, in the GT3 series, which is pretty likely actually for a new car, then I wouldn't mind it too much. Like the 488 Ferrari in general. It's rather easy to drive as well. In my, in my personal opinion, the old one always was the easiest GT3 to drive on iRacing lately. Just didn't really do any crazy unexpected things or whatever, you know. Always felt in good control with it. And this one seems to be very similar when it comes to that. Maybe even better, even. So you can really focus on the driving. Got hooked by the curb a bit there. Almost spun me around. Yeah, you can, you can really focus on the driving and the racing because of that characteristic. Another off track. Oh, this guy just got killed. The Audi that I overtook before. It looks like F for him. I wish you to apologize, Connor. No! Oh my god, really? Wanna rejoin? These people, man, what, like, what is so difficult about freaking finding some buttons on your wheel to look left and right if you don't have triples or whatever? 
or simply just looking at your relative is there if there's a car coming around what's so difficult about that i don't understand do they just like not care or i'm clueless honestly So what happened there though? Were they battling for the win or something? Because that just closed up massively to P1, didn't I? I went a bit wide. Point eight seconds. Obviously if he doesn't mess up there is no way. Can't gain that much time. Even if he has a bit of damage. But let's keep pushing here. Let's stay on it. Maybe try to do the fast slap of the race here as well. Wow, oh, that chicane was pretty slow. Yeah, absolutely lovely track on Gara Ring. Absolutely lovely. I mean, I knew that before, that I really like it. But, yeah, sometimes... You think you like a track and then it comes out in a different sim and you try it and you're like, hmm, that's not that great, as I was thinking before or as I expected. But in this case... Oh yes, I can't wait to race this in officials. Try hard a bit here. Oh, it was a good, good lap here. 46-4. Yeah, that's the quickest lap of the race. Let's go. Got the extra point, you know. To continue our little F1 comparison here in this video. Yeah, nice race. P2 from P9. I mean, second half of the race was a bit boring, maybe. After we passed the Audi, nothing really happened anymore, but still good fun to give this new Ferrari a little go, and hope you enjoy the video, guys.